Let's start, though, with arguably England's standout performer of the World Cup so far, Jude Bellingham. The president of Paris Saint-Germain has told us that he wants to sign the England midfielder, but that any approach would have to go through his club, Borussia Dortmund, first. Well, let's go live to our chief reporter, Carve Solokol, who's in Doha for us. Carve, very good evening. So, if PSG want Bellingham, does that mean the rest of Europe's clubs should be worried, really worried? Look, I don't think they should be that worried. This is the state of play as far as Jude Bellingham is concerned. He's contracted to Borussia Dortmund until the summer of 2025. But our information is that Dortmund would be prepared to sell him next summer for between 100 and 150 million euros. That in pounds is between 85 million pounds and around 130 million pounds. Now, the clubs who are interested in signing him and pushing very, very hard are, first of all, Liverpool. Jurgen Klopp has made Jude Bellingham his number one target for next summer. Also, Manchester City are interested in signing him and Chelsea. We're being told that Manchester United at the moment seem to be out of the running. Now, a player as good as Jude Bellingham is, who is starring for England on the world stage here in Doha, obviously other clubs are also going to sit up and pay attention. One of those clubs is PSG and his president was speaking to us earlier today here in Doha about the possibility of Jude Bellingham moving to France. Amazing player, what a player. Honestly, England, lucky to have him to be honest, you know, and he's one of the best player in the, in the, in the tournament and amazing and you see how he's, you know, first World Cup and calm and relaxed and, you know, I mean, confident, amazing. Are you onto your recruitment team saying, how can we sign G. Bellingham? Listen, everybody wants him, that's all. I'm not going to hide it, you know. But, I mean, I respect. He's in his club and respect. So if we want to talk to him, we'll talk to the club first. So, Carve, is this going to be all about money then? Uh, not at all, not as far as Jude Bellingham is concerned. Uh, he's very cool, calm and collected on the pitch and he's exactly the same off the pitch. Wherever he moves to, if he is to move uh, from Dortmund next summer, has to be the right move for his career. You saw this two and a half years ago when he moved from Birmingham City to Borussia Dortmund. Manchester United wanted to sign him. They were desperate uh, to sign him. There were reports that he was given a tour of United's training ground. But in the end, he and his family decided that the best move for him was to go to the Bundesliga, to sign for Borussia Dortmund because he was guaranteed uh, to play more. That is why he moved to Dortmund. And now, if he's thinking about the next stage of his career, if he's to leave Germany, I think it will be for the best club for him personally, who give him the chance to display his immense talents. And it's got to be the right club. So it could be Real Madrid, it could be Liverpool, it could be Chelsea, it could be Manchester City. PSG, of course, they're an absolutely fantastic club, uh, arguably uh, one of the richest clubs in the world, along with Manchester City. Who wouldn't want to play uh, with Neymar, with Messi, with Clint Mbappe? But he has to th think, he has to sit down and say to himself, is the French League the right move for me at this stage of my career? Do I want to move to Paris? Or would it be better for me to go to Real Madrid? Would it be better for me to go to Liverpool and work with Jurgen Klopp? The latest information we have and a lot of good information comes to us from our colleagues at Sky Germany as well, who are right across a lot of international transfers. What they're telling us, their latest information is uh, that Jude Bellingham could leave for between 100 and 150 million euros next summer. The club leading the chase at the moment, pushing hardest to get him, are Liverpool and Jurgen Klopp, but also Real Madrid and Manchester City, Chelsea. And they're saying Manchester United at the moment, it seems like they're out of the running.